In the previous week, we learnt about the function behavior structure framework and used the FPS framework to create a software conceptual design. Yes, the FBS framework helped me create the conceptual design for the mode based music player. So, in a way, it helped me plan for what to code during the development phase, right? Yes, that's true. Another benefit of creating such a representation is that it helps in communicating the design with a larger team. Representations that we saw in the system think and link like the FPS graph and UML diagram represent the design communicated in different ways and methods. Yes, and this process of representing the solution design is referred to as software modeling. Modeling? What, what does that mean? Can you please elaborate in more detail? So modeling is a way of creating an external explicit representation of the system to be built. For example, the FPS graph is an external representation which describes the functions, structures and behaviors of the system to be built. In a way, it provides an overview of the entire software solution. There are other models like the Unified Modeling Language Diagrams or UML Diagrams and these can help us represent the software design via multiple views and at a greater level of detail. We will learn more about modeling using these UML Diagrams in the next video. So the FBS representation is a form of software modeling. UML is another form of software modeling. Why are both required? Yes, this is an important question. Let's reflect about this for a moment. So here's a reflection spot for you. We looked at software modeling techniques like the FBS representation and UML modeling. What purpose do each of these representations serve? You can pause your video and write your answers before proceeding. So both these modeling techniques, they serve different purposes. Based on the requirements, we can create an FBS representation as a way to create an idea or a concept of the system which we want to build. Once we have this representation, we can go into more details and create UML diagrams for the software system. Okay, so these models are at different levels of detail. Yes, that's true. So on the left, you can see an FBS graph of the mood based music player. A part of the functionality, which is the mood detection, is detailed out in the sequence diagram shown on the right. So last week, we have already explored a form of modeling using the FBS design framework. Then we understood the advantages of modeling. We were also introduced to this idea that modeling can be done through different representations. So what's next? Yes, so another representation which is used is UML diagrams. We will explore modeling using UML diagrams in the next video.